Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we are based in Adobe Illustrator and yet again it's myself, Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do is show you how to create this really cool effect with using the blend tool in Adobe Illustrator. If I'm honest, the blend tool is one of my favorite tools to use because you can really create some unbelievable designs. And this is just a quick example of how we can use that tool to create this, uh, this effect as you can see on your screen today. Question is, is how do we do it? And obviously that's what I'm here today to show you how to do it. Okay, so what I have is another artboard set up for me here. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit with the zoom tool there and press option on a Mac or auto on Windows to zoom out. Okay, so what I first of all need to do is sort of make my uh, three like uh, spine. I'm going to use my curvature tool to do that. And I'm just going to come through and start to create my three. Like so, as you can see, very, very easy for me to do that. Like so. Okay. There's my three created. And what I want to do is maybe just manipulate these handles a little bit here just to make sure that we have the elements correct. Quickly zoom in here. There we go. Just manipulate these to a point we don't want them overlapping at all. Okay. What I'd like to do is make a little cut here on that anchor point. So what I'm going to do is use my scissors tool here. I'm going to come through and I'm make a little cut there. Okay, so we have our spine already created and sorted out. So I'm just going to select it with a selection tool and just move that over there for the second and come back to it. Okay, now we need to create the blend. So what I'm going to do is use our rectangle tool, press square and create a rectangle like so. Yeah, again, I'm going to use my zoom tool move and zoom in here just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's increase this a little bit like so. Always pressing shift to make sure that it is proportionate. Let's apply a um, black color to this. I'm just going to remove the stroke here also as well. Okay, so I'm going to come through my line segment tool here. And we're going to create a nice straight line pressing shift. We just need to increase the size of that. Let's change the color also of that also like so. Wonderful. And with my selection tool, what I'm now going to do is come through, potentially maybe make it a little bit thicker. There we go. I'm going to come through and press Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows to click and drag and duplicate. Like so. We know that we can continue a transformation commandment by pressing the shortcut Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. And I'm just going to select all of these now by pressing Shift and clicking on the lines that I've created and just get them fitted nicely with the inside of this box. Like so. I want to now do a rotation to this. I'm going to keep them selected and I'm going to go right click, transform, rotate. I want to rotate that 90 degrees and we're going to press the option of copy. Fantastic, this is the shape that I wanted. Just going to make sure that all our elements are grouped up. So select it with the selection tool and press the shortcut Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows. I'm just going to come through here and rotate it in a diamond like effect by pressing shift. Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit now and get some sort of perspective of where we're doing. Right, so what we need to do is select everything like so and using the same shortcut, Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, I'm just going to duplicate over here like so. Okay. Now what we need to do with these, we need to blend these together, like I say. So we're going to select them both. We've got our blend tool here. I'm going to double click on the blend tool. And we have these three options. The ones I'll be using is specified steps. I want to make sure that I have a thousand steps between. I press OK. Now we click on the first and click on the second to create the blend like so. OK. Let me zoom out a little bit more here and get my bearings. What I need to do now is come through and duplicate this, Option Mac or Alt on Windows. Wonderful. 
Now let's get our spine ready here. Like so, I may come through and just increase the size of this artboard just quickly, just to give me a little bit more space. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to set the top part and press shift and click one of the blend options that I created earlier. What I'm going to do is come to object, blend, and we have the option to replace the spine. Like so. Wonderful. And what I'm going to do now is come through, select our bottom one, and press shift and click the top. Blend, object, blend, replace the spine. Okay. What I want to do is now send this to the back. So if I go right click, arrange, I have the option to send that to the back. Like so. Select both the elements here. Let's just group them up with the shortcut command G on Mac or control G on Windows. Let's get that aligned nicely to the artboard. And as you can see, guys, a very cool effect that you can create in Adobe Illustrator very, very easily. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, take a look at our website, blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, there are videos and tutorials that are coming out on a weekly basis. Make sure you take a look. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.